Thank you, Philippe. So in this context of uh, outbreaks, I will uh, give an update of the use of uh, the OCV. So in this graph, uh, you can see that the, 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 number, the number of doses requested per year and per mechanism. So since the 2013, uh, around 200 million doses were requested and around 60% of it were for emergency use. Uh, most of them were approved, 73%, but uh, half for ICG. So as you can see in 2022, we had 3 million, 33 million requested and 24 uh, million approved. Um, but you can see in Nigeria, um, Actually, the request in Nigeria arrived in late December so, uh, and was approved in uh, January. So that explains uh, this, 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 different, this difference. Otherwise, uh, there was uh, no uh, other uh, preventive uh, request uh, received this year. In terms of uh, emergencies, we received uh, 12 requests and 10 were approved. Uh, two were not approved. Uh, we insist on the term not approved and not uh, rejected for this, uh, this requested, this request, uh, because it was, uh, the ICG member are here uh, to, to, to explain about the context later, but uh, it was more linked to the, to the context in other time, uh, those requests would, could have been uh, probably uh, approved. Uh, then we had a request from uh, Cameroon to this year. Uh, Malawi, Bangladesh, Somalia, uh, four for Pakistan. So for Pakistan, the requests were uh, on the, based on the, the region. So that's why we received the four. And another one for Kenya that uh, was approved. Uh, when we look at the evolution of the average of doses, we were wondering if the, the size of the requests were increasing. Uh, so overall, uh, we can see that yes, the number of doses requested per request was increasing over the time uh, for preventive, but also for uh, uh, emergency. Uh, we have Salim Reza who will also present uh, that for ICG uh, later. But when we look at the proportion of doses uh, that were approved over the time, uh, we can see that it was uh, a little bit uh, stable. So to date, uh, around 100, uh, uh, 123 million doses were shipped to 25 countries and 60% of it were for emergency use. This year, uh, we have shipped 23.5 million doses and uh, 20 million of them were for emergency use. And in total, uh, 12 countries received doses uh, this year. Alors, just a word in terms of uh, shipment and the uh, stockpile. As you said, Philippe, OCV is not the, the magic uh, bullet, but there are also the, the other pillar in order to, to, to respond to, to cholera, uh, such as wash, um, uh, case management, and, and, and surveillance. Uh, and this year, um, we have approved uh, more doses uh, than, um, than what is uh, available. Today, I'm speaking under uh, William and Antonia <laughs> uh, knows uh, the current stock is at 5.3 million uh, doses, knowing that the emergency stock that we have should always stay at 5 million doses. We still uh, have 6.8 million doses that have to be that will be produced in uh, October and December. Uh, but uh, we already had approved a million doses that were needed for second round in uh, for ICG requests such as Cameroon, Malawi, and Pakistan that uh, are not uh, shipped now, uh, and some discussions are at. Uh, ICG level regarding those, uh, the, those uh, second rounds. Uh, and I will leave uh, Salim um, let us uh, to explain uh, during this pr his presentation uh, later. Uh, so in terms of campaigns, uh, 
Népal, Cameroun, Bangladesh, Somalia, they finished uh, two rounds uh, of uh, campaign. We had one round in Pakistan, Malawi, and uh, Cameroon. Uh, and uh, some second rounds of uh, campaigns were implemented uh, from request uh, of last year in Nigeria, Ethiopia, and Yemen. Uh, we had some campaigns implemented in South Sudan for preventive use. Uh, notab notably in uh, Juba, uh, and they are still planning to continue to implement uh, those campaigns. This is a request that was for submitted in 2019, and they are now uh, implementing. Uh, around 1 million doses were shipped also to Nigeria to start uh, the implementation of, uh, of uh, their request that was for 9.9 .9 million doses. Uh, and the doses arrived and the, they are waiting for, we, the, the country will be implementing uh, the first round. So we still have some challenges uh, that I present uh, almost uh, this is every year. Uh, we have still problem of time of implementing campaigns and I want to hear again from you, what are the challenges uh, for, for that, for the time of implementation, for the time of requesting also, uh, after the outbreak, what are the, the, the challenges uh, for that? Uh, in terms of quality uh, of campaigns, some campaigns uh, had uh, a low, low coverage, and we want to hear from you uh, for the next discussion uh, after uh, what are the challenges faced uh, in the field. Uh, we have a lack of reporting, and we really hope that this year it will be uh, better. We are working uh, with Epicenter on having a database by district level, and we will be uh, sharing with you, um, with all countries that are implementing campaigns, uh, a, a, a database to fill, uh, so that we, 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 we follow um, we have the, the accurate uh, number on time. And then we still want to know uh, what is the, the impact of those campaigns. Uh, we sometimes, uh, you implement vaccination, but we don't know uh, what was the effect of it, even if we don't uh, uh, do uh, impact studies, of course, but just to know uh, a little bit more about what's happening uh, after. Uh, this uh, graph was uh, presented uh, by Philippe in, uh, in the annual meeting. It's to give an idea of how you are uh, involved also in, uh, in an engaged, uh, despite the COVID, in the development of the national uh, cholera, uh, cholera plans. So uh, 15 countries completed their hotspots and six were in progress. Uh, in terms of uh, national cholera plan, uh, 17 completed. We have 12 in progress and six under consideration. Uh, and a lot of partners are engaged uh, on that. Uh, this slide is, is important to, because for the, the next request, the next preventive request that we will receive, it will be very important that countries are engaged in uh, some development of national cholera plan and that had finalized the hotspots. And uh, this takes some time. And I think that's why also it was difficult this year uh, to have, uh, to, to receive requests because we need the hotspot identification to be done. Uh, the the, the multi-year plan uh, has to be, to be done also. We need to, when you will be submitting a request, we need to know the number of doses needed for the next five years and that's why for the the, the session on wednesday uh, on wednesday we will ask uh, the countries to to present what will be their future needs uh, it's very important the forecast we really need uh, to know um, and that's why this is something we will more develop and work with you and that's why we will have this session on wednesday of you presenting what you think will be the demand from your country about for the five uh, next year. Uh, saying that, uh, I think it's my last uh, slide and I hope uh, that I raised a uh, lot of questions for the, the whole uh, two days of, uh, of meeting. Thank you.